The West Point knot is a sliding locking arthroscopic knot that is easy to tie and teach to others. Once the post is identified and shortened, both strands of the suture are pinched between the surgeon's thumb and middle finger on the post hand. The non-post strand is then draped over the thumb and passed around both strands. Next, the non-post strand is passed around both strands three more times. The index finger on the post hand is used to dress a knot with each pass. The non-post suture is then passed around itself proximal to the knot to create a half hitch. Last, the non-post strand is passed up from underneath through the loop created at the thumb in the first step. The knot is then dressed by pulling apart both the post and non-post strands that are closer to the cannula or portal. When tying the knot with the cannula or portal, an assistant may place a finger between the suture limbs and rest it on either the opening of the cannula or the portal. This will assist the surgeon in separating the two strands and aid in easier knot tying. Again, it is very important to keep the knot dressed with the post hand index finger and not allow each loop to become entangled with each other. This would prematurely lock the knot and not allow it to slide. A knot pusher can also be used to facilitate guiding the knot into place. Pulling the post will help cinch down the knot more firmly to the desired tissue. Once adequate tension has been obtained, the non-post free end is pulled in line in addition to the post limb to lock the knot down. At this point, the knot is secured, however additional alternating half hitches can be thrown to back up the knot if needed.